English prepositions of versus from from EspressoEnglish.net. Do you know when to use of versus from in English? Using the wrong preposition is a very common mistake. Many other languages have just one word for both of and from, but in English we use these two words in several different ways. These prepositions are so common that it's impossible to cover all their uses in this short lesson, but today I'm going to explain the basic differences and the most common ways to use them. We often use of when talking about possession by inanimate objects, meaning something belongs to the object. For example, the color of the sky, the name of the movie, the handle of the suitcase. When talking about possession by people, animals, or groups, then we usually use apostrophe S instead. So instead of saying, the husband of my friend, we typically say, my friend's husband, the cat's claws, and the company's policy. Of is also used for physical surfaces with the words top, bottom, side, inside, and outside. For example, the top of the shoe, or the bottom of the shoe, the side of the car, the inside of the jacket, the outside of the box. Of is used with the quantity expressions all of, most or many of, both of, a few of, one of, and none of. For example, all of the students passed the test. I spend most of my time studying. Both of my parents are lawyers. He lent me a few of his books. One of my friends had a baby. None of these bananas are ripe. Finally, we use of after some specific adjectives and verbs. There is no rule here. You just need to remember each one. Here are a few examples. This is not a complete list. I'm afraid of spiders. She's capable of succeeding. Are you aware of the problem? I'm proud of you for trying your best. We're tired of traveling. He accused me of lying. That song reminds me of my grandmother. What do you think of the proposal? Now let's look at from. From is used to talk about origins, sources, and starting points. For example, I'm from the U.S. This scene is from an old movie. I borrowed a book from the library. We just got home from work. We also use from followed by to, till, or until, to describe starting and ending times. For example, I lived in Brazil from 2009 to 2016. I'll be out of the office from Wednesday until Friday. From can be used to talk about distance. For example, we live 10 miles from the beach. The closet is 3 feet away from the desk. From is sometimes used to express a reason. For example, he died from dehydration. I'm sore from the workout I did yesterday. From is also used after specific adjectives and verbs. Again, there's no rule. You need to learn these individually. Here are a couple examples. College is very different from high school. He discouraged me from quitting my job. Seat belts can prevent you from getting injured in a car crash. The burglar alarm protects our house from break-ins. Finally, let's look at made of versus made from. In general, we use made of when talking about the basic material of something. For example, this table is made of wood. These earrings are made of silver. My shirt is made of cotton. We use made from when there has been a transformation in the process of making the object. For example, wine is made from grapes. That new medicine was made from plant extracts. Paper is made from trees. Learning English grammar can seem like an impossible task, but I want to help you do it step by step. That's why I have grammar products for all levels of English learners. There are my basic and intermediate English grammar ebooks and my advanced English grammar course. My students who have these ebooks and courses love the easy to understand lessons and practical examples and exercises.
If you're having difficulty with grammar, or if you want to build your confidence in using English correctly, check out the ebooks and course. I hope this lesson has helped clarify the use of of and from. Talk to you next time.